Trump administration turmoil briefly seemed a world away today as President Trump was greeted warmly in Saudi Arabia, 6,700 miles from Washington. First Lady Melania Trump's decision not to wear a traditional headscarf turned heads on social media, especially since Mr. Trump criticized Michelle Obama for doing the same thing in 2015. Other female Ford dignitaries have also chosen not to. Of course, that was just one storyline in a day of diplomatic developments in Riyadh. And our Major Garrett is traveling with the president. A day of U.S.-Saudi celebration capped by Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross holding swords as part of a traditional Arabic Arda dance with Saudi King Salman. The president's trip to forge new bonds with the royal family began when Air Force One touched down to find the Saudis trying to iron out finishing touches. Attention there left Air Force One without stairs for the first family to descend. Then the stairs and red carpet did not align. But the president and first lady made the best of it, meeting the king and taking in sounds of cannons and the sight of U.S.-made and Saudi-purchased jets overhead, trailing red, white and blue exhaust. After ceremonial coffee, the president and king rode into Riyadh together. The leader signed an agreement on $109 billion in new U.S. arms sales to the kingdom and $200 billion of Saudi-backed investment over four years in U.S. infrastructure projects. Saudi princes posed with numerous U.S. defense industry executives to celebrate. At a meeting with Saudi Crown Prince Nayef, the president sounded upbeat. Tremendous investments into the United States and our military uh, community is very happy and we want to thank you. No U.S. president has made Saudi Arabia or any Muslim country their first foreign visit. Mr. Trump did so with two overarching goals. Challenge Iran's military influence in the region and recruit majority Muslim countries to do more in the battle against ISIS and al-Qaeda affiliates in the Middle East and North Africa. Secretary Tillerson. This growing partnership is really grounded in trust. Trust between our two nations that we are pursuing the same objectives. Scandals and investigations followed the president here. Tillerson was asked about a Washington Post report that the FBI had identified a person of interest inside the Trump White House as part of its investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. I do not have any information or knowledge regarding the person of interest uh, that's been referenced. En route here, the White House did not deny another report that President Trump told Russian officials he fired FBI Director James Comey because he was, quote, a nut job, and that that dismissal took some of the pressure off the Russian probe. White House officials hope revelations like that do not overshadow President Trump's efforts to reassert American leadership, not just here in the Saudi Kingdom, but throughout the Middle East. Rena? Major Garrett traveling with the president in Riyadh.